What is up, guys? Y'all see the title? Y'all see the thumbnail, man? Y'all know what it is. Today we got a very, very, very special pair of guests, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know what y'all thinking, Jaco, Jaco. How did you pull this off? How is this happening right now? Hey, the people ask, the people shall receive. You feel me? Another card talk today. I have Brittany and Gary with me. Let's get it. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, All right, guys, I'm excited to have you guys here, man. We're excited that you're here. Thank you yeah. so much for having Bro, us on here. I miss you. Boy. I, I really did miss you guys. Hey, but, um, you know, so basically, if you guys don't know, Car Talk is basically like a podcast in a car. It's just kind of okay. like really chill vibes. Just, you know, I get the time to like speak to you guys and just like talk about really st stuff that we don't speak on the daily, you know? Right, like, okay. For like mental health, like your come up, your childhood, a, a little bit of everything. Okay. And yeah, it just gives you guys a, a space to like really open up and like speak in a way that you wouldn't in your regular videos. Okay. Maybe because, Pretty. I don't know, I feel like us, especially with influencers, we just want to give out like things that will, the entertaining thing, mm -hmm. you know, like. The so happy we, side all the time. Yeah, yeah, so we hold back on like the real stuff, I feel yeah. like. Oh, yeah. So let's start from the very beginning, man. Let's start with you guys' childhood. Let's start with uh, where were you guys oh born? Um yeah like where were you guys born let's start with there uh what your childhood was like okay you want to go first you can start loki i feel like your childhood okay. is crazy mine was crazy too there is some like like stuff i can't talk about which is like the bad stuff that happened in my life right. which like it, it involves family and like mm -hmm. like eat some crazy stuff but maybe one day i'll open up yeah, yeah, yeah. on my own you can keep it but, surface level for now so um i grew up i grew up in encino like uh, like, I don't know, Burbank. I was I was born in Burbank, Burbank Hospital. That's but, in Cali here, right? Yeah, I was born here, but my parents were born, um, my mom was born in Armenia. My dad was born in Russia. Mm. Um, oh, that's crazy. I thought both of your parents were Armenian. Yeah, it was, uh, Armenian, Russian. Uh, mm. Yeah, but, um, so, damn, I got to remember, you know. Yeah. But my, my brother and my sister were born in, uh, they were born here too. But uh, when they, once they were born, my dad took them to Russia, so they for, they didn't know English and stuff. So mm -hmm. me growing up, uh, I lived in an apartment. Like I shared a room with my brother and my sister, one room. Mm -hmm. So um, while my mom was doing her job and my my dad, my dad wasn't there all the time. Um, I actually didn't recognize my dad like when I was like a couple years old. Cause like he would go to Russia and come back, so mm -hmm. I didn't really see him a lot. So right. like when he would come up, like who are you? Like stop touching my mom, like mm -hmm. <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm a little kid and stuff, but I went to school. I went to Encino Elementary. Um, I had my best friend Emmanuel there. Like I was just a normal kid, bro. You know, I didn't even think of nothing like that. I just grew uh, up. At what age did your dad like um, fully like stay in the picture? Fully stay in the picture. Like, were you already, like, were you still young or were you already, like, kind of old? So, like, he fully stayed in the picture when I was, like, 9, 10. And then that's when the disaster happened in my life. Mm -hmm. And my parents went to jail, uh -huh. you know. And then I went to a foster care. I'm not going to oh, say, what, like, the reasoning. But, like, yeah, I had a tough, like, that's why, like, people say, like, what are these three dots on my fingers? Like, uh -huh. on my hand right here. Um, that's not gang related, guys. Um, it's just my crazy life. So right after when I got this when when I got this tat, um, that's when I met Brittany. Mm -hmm. So after I got this tat, I'm like everything's going good in my life. So no? this is just gonna be what? My dad tat, tat yes, that on yeah, you. Yes, yeah, I know. So when I got this tat, I wanted to my my past is like my crazy life. Mm -hmm. So like I'm moving ahead with my life and everything's going good. Oh, and you, this is just like me remembering where I came from so I stay right. humble, you know? Right, right, right. So, yeah. Wait, so I don't want to skip over that. Your dad was the one that tatted him? Yeah. So your dad is a tattoo artist? Yeah, my dad is a tattoo artist, you guys. Go oh. Check him out. He actually oh. tattooed the rose and the faith on my, the lettering. On my oh, hands. no way. Yeah, what? this says faith. I know it looks like gangster writing, but it says faith. <laughs> gangster writing. Yeah, people are like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. All right, so nine years old, your dad comes in the picture, then, you know, unfortunately they go to jail foster care what what is your relationship like with your dad since he was like kind of like in and out of the picture honestly now that i'm older like some people would hate their parents for like you know neglecting them for like all that like we, we lived in a mansion guys after the apartment and um 
obviously my parents were probably doing illegal stuff that's why they got arrested but mm -hmm. um i feel like they were grinding to like like because money like in this world is like hard to get you know right. so i feel like they were just trying to get the money so their kids could be good mm -hmm. so uh i don't i think they looked past that and actually their best friends did them wrong in this situation so that's why whenever i have friends um i really don't trust anybody because i reflect off my parents mm -hmm. um on like like how they like you know like my parents took them to hawaii paid for everything like and they were feds they they happen to no. be feds, so Yo, yeah. This is a movie right now, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't really open up to nobody, bro. Like, uh -huh. I'll go into more detail maybe later, but like I can't. Uh, I can my only family. imagine what the details are like, bro. But like even the surface level stuff is like crazy though. Yeah, bro. But yeah, some crazy. I want to talk about it, but like I can't. Nah, 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 you 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 don't have to. I feel like just this alone is like good for the people. Like we, we could probably talk talk about it later. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you for sure. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. um. Cause it's juicy, it's juicy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I, like, I can really juicy. like. Bro. He's like, this is tea. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, pe people think like I came from the rich like, and everything, right. but I've always been humble. Even though we had a mansion and stuff, my mm -hmm. my my sister Lilo actually, Lilo, I was telling you about. Um, she she got us out of the foster foster care, uh -huh. court and everything. She had to do everything, and oh, she, she's older, right? Yeah. Wait, so, can I say something really quick? Yeah. So you know how you said like people will always say like you came from riches. Mm -hmm. Gark at one point was living in a house where, you know, they, his family did have money. But one day, all of it was taken away. Like, so... Like and, this. And like, Gark was... Anything, like, anything could just go taken away, you, you know? You are in elementary yeah. when all of it happened. Elementary, yeah. Yeah, Gark was I was watching elementary. Kung Fu Panda the night that, that happened. Oh, shoot. Bro, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I like, want to say it, but... Oh, you know? Bro, that's traumatic, bro. Like, I mean, we got I raided, that age, yeah. yeah, you could say that. Oh, my God. ARs in my face. I'm a kid, bro. Flashbang in my mom's room, bro. Holy it was crazy, bro. But, um, yeah, basically. And then, um, uh, my sister took us back and she bought us MacBooks to, like, you know, like, bro, I went to a different school. Like, mm -hmm. I was going to this school and then I randomly went to another school that, like, I have no idea of. Like, I had to go wait for the bus. I've never went and waited for the bus, bro. Mm, like, it's like, I a walked alone. Change of lifestyle. Yeah, me and my oh, brother and my goodness. sister shared a whopper, like, not a whopper, mm -hmm. a cheeseburger this big from Carl Jr. Like, we've never known that, like, to share a burger together. Like, each of us would get a burger. Right. So it really humbled us. But, like, I was still a humble kid. My brother mm -hmm. and sister were humble. But it really was, like, a life lesson I feel like God put in our path. Like, even to my parents to show that, like, learn. A, I don't know what it was, but it was a lesson to be learned. But I guess uh, whenever I came back and stuff, my sister did take care of us for years. And, um, yeah, like, I had to go watch my mom be sentenced and all that you know mm -hmm. so um very sad do you want to say how long your mom went or no uh, yeah i mean yeah it's the past bro i mean i, I don't, don't think, think my anything... mom will, yeah like it's the past my mom's doing better now mm -hmm. we opened up a restaurant like everything's going good uh like i was in the courtroom when they said 14 years you know yeah bro and i love my mom i was a mama's boy bro so mm -hmm. That. Oh, yeah, I can imagine because, I mean, like you mentioned, your dad was, like, out of a picture for a little bit and then out of, like, the country. So, I'm yeah. sure your mom was, like, everything for you because she was the one that was there. Yeah. She's the provider, you know? And my right. dad was in Russia when that all happened. So, they're like, if you don't come back, you can never come back to the USA. So, uh -huh. US. So, he came back. They got him, too. Now, was, if you don't mind me asking, was your dad, like, uh, in and out of the country, like, well, did him and your mom ever like split up? Was was that a reason why he left, or was it like just like work related? Or, um, they didn't. Yeah, it was work related. Like he had to go work over there while mm -hmm. my mom was here working here, and mm -hmm. they considered my mom as a kingpin. You know what a kingpin is, right? It's like a, a below drug lord, right? Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so like, I don't know if you heard little baby rap about it's that. Like a, like it's like rappers. a mafia boss. Mafia me a verse, boss. Tell me a verse right now. I don't know. I don't remember, <laughs> but he did mention like he, that he's a kingpin. Uh -huh. I think little baby was. I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, my 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 parents were like mafia like mafia related and stuff. So, but I'm a kid. I don't know none of this, bro. Right. I feel like rainbows and sunshine. I'm going to school to see my best friend. You know, random. You we were supposed to go to Sea World that day too. Mm. That day it happened, and I had a long talk with my mom uh, that night, and then oh, disaster. But yeah. Man, bro, I so could go into more details, but like I don't, you know. Right. But. Right. So, fourteen years then. Um, during this whole time, like where, where, um, 
like I, I'm guessing you mentioned your sister taking over. Was she like the mother figure during all these years? Yeah. Yeah. My my sister's my second mom for sure. She was the one like taking care of you guys and everything. Man, that yeah. I must have done so much for her too because I'm sure it like sped up the process of her like growing up and like I'm guessing she didn't like have much time to like really be a kid. Well, she had kids her she has kids yeah, herself. Yeah, she she had mm -hmm. uh she had my nephew Harut uh and then she had Robert while she was taking care of us. So, and then she had George, so like she had three of her own kids and then three of her siblings. That she had to take care of, and um, her husband, you know, stepped in and took care of us too. So, you know, I respect that too. But there was, there's a lot of other details that like are dark, mm -hmm. that like family even like fucked over family. But like, you know, that's why I don't trust nobody in this world. Like, just you gotta stay on your toes, you know, um, on everything. But yeah, so she took care of us, and then the years go by. She's been dis, she was uh, taking care of us, disciplining us, taking us to school buying us food, doing all this. And we were living in the house because mm -hmm. uh, they tried taking the house too. They uh -huh. took our Vegas house, I believe. They, you know, you know, they do all that stuff, but I guess they, they kept the house because they switched it over to my sister's name mm -hmm. and all that. Uh, and then, yeah, just uh, when I grew up, I started doing football. Um, I just started doing sports and stuff to get like my mind off of like things because right. I miss my mom. Like, even though they're, I started realizing, oh, they did bad stuff. They they weren't really in our life because of money and stuff like that. But they were doing it for a reason and a purpose to take care of their kids and stuff. So I don't really look at it like, oh, you guys, you guys did this to us. You guys, you know, mm -hmm. left us here. And I look at it like they're still my parents, you know. So right. you only have one parents, mom and dad. Yeah. yeah. Right. So right now we are at your high school time. I'm gonna come back to you, Brittany. Yeah. What was oh your childhood goodness. like? It's a lot to take in. Oh, guys. Let's start with uh, where you were born. It's so crazy. Me and Garik were born in the same place. I was born in um, Burbank. Mm -hmm. And I was born, I, I think, I believe, St. Jude's Hospital in Burbank, California. And um, so I've always grew up here in the valley. I grew up in um, Panorama City. I grew up in everywhere that you guys could probably name. I probably live there um so my mom moving, moving around a lot yeah mm -hmm. yeah so my mom and dad were still frankly really young when they had me they were 21 mm -hmm. and um i feel like there's like a lot of like like he said she said between like my parents you know like what happened with growing up and stuff um but a lot of the stuff i did get to see which was like crazy witnessing it you know and then your parents sitting there and trying to tell you, like, no, that didn't happen. That didn't mm -hmm. happen. And you're like, I witnessed mm -hmm. it, you know? Right. Um, so um, for the first for the first six years of my life, I didn't speak English. I only spoke Spanish, actually. So mm -hmm. I only spoke Spanish. And then... Um, what? I, don't, I feel like you don't have an accent at all. Yeah, no, I don't. She's picking up the Armenian accent. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, well, so for the first six years of my life, um, my grandparents like were always around and then, um, my parents were always working. Like my dad worked, um, tattooing and then my, he also worked at like detailing cars and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And my mom was, um, an EKG tech. So she would work in the hospital oh, Okay. and it's for the heart. And my mom was even like going to school and stuff too. And, um, my dad was in affiliated with gangs. I don't, he's not anymore, but mm -hmm. yeah, my dad was affiliated with gangs he was doing you know things that gangs do and not getting into you know not going into the right path you know and um yeah so i spoke spanish and my hispanic family was always around all the time so i think that's how i also picked it up mm -hmm. and then um i had to go to a school where i basically had to like learn english and yeah i lost all of my spanish so Wait, so I'm, I'm curious because I don't think I've ever heard you speak Spanish. Gar, give her a sentence to say in Spanish to you. Oh, uh, I lost it all. Like, lost Wait. it completely. Yeah. Like, no. I can only understand it. I can't speak oh. it. Yeah. Tell me I'm handsome. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Tell him that. Tell him that. Where's <laughs> Waffle? Hey! I'm a Waffle. Nah, bro, she <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, 
Oh, I'm so <laughs> okay, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, I want to catch back on because like my grandparents, they're getting older. Uh-huh. My grandpa actually has cancer, so like not being able to talk to him mm. in Spanish, like it does hurt me because I'm like, damn, I I want to talk to him more. Right. They're trying to like my grandma has actually picked up on English a lot more, so she speaks a little bit mm. of English, and my grandpa still struggles, you know. Gotcha. So like. Not being able to talk to them in Spanish, it hurts me because I'm like, damn, like, I wish I could, mm-hmm. you know? Um, but, yeah, and then um, I feel like a lot of, like, my growing up, the beginning part was a blur. And then after that's, like, when I turned, like, 12, it opened up. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I do want to say one thing, though, is that I hope my dad doesn't get mad or anybody doesn't get mad. This is all the past. You know, my dad is a greater right. man. He is today. Sorry. My dad, you know, found God. And my dad mm. is actually a really big Christian. So he, you know, he talks about God all the time. I don't know if it's you saw my church. testimony then. Did you see my church mm. coming up here? You didn't see? No, there's one right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No so way. that's the church that I've been going to since I was like 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. And mm. that's also why I moved out here was because I wanted to start going to church more often. Mm. Gotcha. Yeah. And, um... So my dad, for like most of my growing up, was always cheating on my mom, was Mm. cheating on my mom. I mean, my dad was really physical to my mom and I witnessed a lot of it. And excuse me. Oh, this is what we're talking about. How he's mean. Look, (laughs) he's mean as shit. Um, So for like a lot of like growing up, I would see my dad get physical with my mom and then cheat on my mom. And my mom like struggled a lot. And um, I think eventually like my mom had had her last straw and there's like how Garik said there's a lot more details that go into it like right. i remember so much that it's like i can't believe like a little girl like even witnessed that like it's trauma yeah, no, yeah it's 100%. like it's like crazy like that you know but like i said my dad is a greater man today and i think that that definitely built him he was young you know he didn't have yeah. the best of parents either himself so you know i think that it just like did affect him and stuff um but no, I, I think sorry to cut you off no, i good. think I think it's like definitely something uh, that he should like speak on because yeah. I feel like you know society and like people in general would tell you that like mm-hmm. once a cheater always a cheater. Always, always a cheater, yeah. And your dad is a testimony that people can change and yeah. like, you know like through God through whatever it is that they decide to do like people have the power to change and with yeah. God backing you up especially feel me and I feel like that like you being being able to say that like my dad used to be like that but now he's yeah. not like that at all he's like this yeah it's just a testimony of like what the power of God can do yeah no yeah. for well real said, yeah. it's it's literally crazy like seeing even even seeing my dad like evolve makes me proud of him mm-hmm. and it like it like it makes me like like how you said like I I wish like my dad did start like a page where he talked about it, you know, right. so he could set an example to like, I feel like a lot of women also think that as well, like men will never change, which mm-hmm. sometimes is true. But I feel like my dad sets an example that, you know, it is possible. Yeah, it is possible. And I'm sure and I'm sure he's making like a huge impact because even in your inner circle, like when yeah. your inner circle like sees you change like drastically out of nowhere, they're like, wait, what what's going on? Like he didn't used to be like this. Yeah. So I'm sure you're your uh, dad's like family or c- close mm-hmm. friends you know his inner circle they're already getting impacted by like the change that he has made in his life yeah but i wanted to touch a little bit on the on like you know like the whole abuse because like i went yeah. through something similar uh-huh. like that mm-hmm. and man like seeing something like that just does something to your heart man. yeah you know, it does like, yeah no greater like pain scares than, you and yeah, yeah there's definitely no greater pain than s- seeing your parents like in pain fighting yeah yeah especially when there's like abuse in the picture yeah how would you say you got like um like did that did that affect the way that you would see your dad or your mom like what did that do to you honestly for a very long time i was like a daddy's girl like always like Mm -hmm. like i saw no wrong in my dad you know and i i was like always with my dad like i i wanted to like be with my dad as much as i could be you know right and um it, I think, I I don't think it affected me. I think it just shocked me because I was like, I love my mom, but it was just like, I can't see my mom go through this anymore, you know? Mm-hmm. So um, this is where I get to the part where like my parents split up. Eventually my mom had the last straw and oh, okay. um, I'm also going to bring this up and I I hope my dad does not get bothered. I don't think he will, to mm-hmm. be honest. Um. But my dad was a drug addict for a minute. My dad mm-hmm. was addicted to crystal meth. 
And I've also seen him do it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I saw things that no little kids should be seeing. Like, that's hard, you know? Like, even realizing it, like, that's what it is. Like, growing up and then putting the pieces together, it was like, oh, shit, you know? Like, that's what he was that's doing. Like, was going on. for example, yeah. there was, like, multiple times, like, where I would go into the bathroom and there was, like, a plate and, like, there was just stuff in there that you don't see. And it was just, like... Mm -hmm. now getting older i'm like oh that's what that was you know and like me being little i didn't know what it was but i knew it wasn't right you know so my mom finally had her last straw my dad was you know addicted to drugs and he had cheated on my mom again and so my mom was just like i'm done i'm i'm leaving like you're not gonna know where we live like this is like just like over and that took a really big toll on me because i lived with my dad you know and mm-hmm. then i was like wait like i'm not gonna live with my dad anymore like that's weird you know so you, you left with her yeah so you skipped the part where you you weren't supposed to be on this world in the, in the world remember yeah you want to talk about that or i don't really care but it, i mean it, you've, you've talked about it before i have but it involves like somebody else's family as well you don't have to say no yeah. names just like basically when i was little there was a drive-by that happened and it's weird because um she was a baby like yeah i was a baby this, like something oh, like man. yeah i was a baby when the drive by happened and then um this is like off topic but we went to a pumpkin patch not recently i think this was like last year or year before that and we met with a psychic and the I psychic i know it's bad to do that yeah. but we didn't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> we didn't know that right, right. low key and then she had read my hand and she looked at me in shock and was like you know you were supposed to die when you were a baby and I was like, oh, my God. He looked at me because he knew the story. And he looked at me and his eyes, like, widened. He, like, like nah, his jaw, shock, his bro. jaw like, dropped. And I was like. I don't rec- recommend doing that stuff. It's not good. Yeah. yeah. And let me you're explain. not supposed to know. Yeah, let me explain why. The reason why you're not supposed to do that is that it's it's 100% real, guys. Yeah. Like, I know there's skepticism of, like, oh, is that even real? Like, if you go to the right people, it's mm-hmm. 100% real. And the reason why is because those people, what they use is they use mediums. Yeah. And a medium that they use is, like, demons. Like, demons have the power. Like, demons have a lot of power. Like, mm-hmm. God purposely gave demons and the devil power. But he limits them. But yeah. we, having, like, free will, we're able to, like, let them in, too. Yeah. And so, like, you know, going to stuff like, like those card readers, it's just, like, what they do is that they communicate with demons to be able to, like, have them, like, go back into your life yeah. and tell them, like, okay, and, like, so have that this power. is what's going on. It, it gets very crazy. Yeah. It, it's all really spiritual. Like, some people get it, some people don't. You have to be really in tune with, like, the whole spiritual realm to understand it. But yeah. It is crazy, though. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's crazy because we continued talking to her. And she just kept telling us things that were like, what? Like, like no one knows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't and, take me. But the, the reason why it's dangerous no. is because you're opening a door to, like, yeah, to the let, devil to, mm-hmm. like, come in, into you, into yeah. your relationship. And you would just start noticing things going left. Yeah. Because you opened that door. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to pray for you guys after this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, I, I did, I did, a part, like, you know, I, yeah. I prayed and I repented. That's I was good. like, yeah. bro, but we didn't I know. Never do I, that again. I didn't even, mm-hmm. like, for example, I didn't know that, like, even, like, having crystals, uh, like, having, um, the, um, what is it called? I have them, evil on, the evil eyes. Mm-hmm. It's, it goes against, like, Christianity. So it's not I, as I bad as the thing, though, like, as a reader. Yeah. I feel like it, evil eyes, like, to protect from evil. Yeah, but the I guess the best way to summarize it is that God wants, like, your trust to be 100,000% uh, yeah. on him and nothing else. Yeah. Like, God doesn't want you to make an idol or a god of anything. Yeah. Like, yeah. If, if somebody's going to protect you, it's going to be God, not a crystal, not yeah. a rock, not a evil eye. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, in this, like, in summary, that's why. But, but yeah, it, it does... It does get crazy. Yeah. yeah. That type of stuff. So, anyways, back to what we mm-hmm. were talking about. The drive-by. Yeah, so the drive-by happened, and so, yeah, we, we, she, like, confirmed it, and I, that was just crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, so my parents had split up, and um, it took a really big toll on us because my dad wasn't around for a minute, and, um, yeah, my dad wasn't around for a minute, but he would come, like, in and out. And I think the the biggest thing that, like, broke my heart was when you're little, like, seeing, like, getting a call from your dad that hasn't talked to you in a while. And then, like, getting a call saying, like, 
I'm gonna pick you up like today, and then like the mm-hmm. whole day passes and they they don't show up. Like, oh, like it sucks because you're like, wow, like I, you know, like as a little joking. girl, you you look up to your dad and you love your dad, and then like, I don't want to talk about this guys anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah. Um, no, I- and just to encourage you to you know, keep like talking about it, like there's a lot of people that like deal with that. Yeah. And I feel like your story like really helps to like encourage or like just even understand people. Like, oh, okay, like maybe this is why I deal with like a level of like fear of being rejected is because yeah. my dad did it to me in the past. Because yeah. I was gonna touch on that, like him like telling you that he was gonna be there and then not showing up, not being present, like mm-hmm. that. That's trauma. Like that yeah. causes you to like really like be fearful of rejection or just like really be like want to be really like um like have guys like on a chokehold because you're Mm. scared of like uh receiving that rejection again like it does so many things to you and yeah i feel like um i might have done something like that gar could probably say but i feel like because of it like if me and gar get in a fight like i know it's really bad but like i'll be like okay i'm done like i'll break up like and that's because i'm scared that like it, just, it has something to do with that. I know it for a fact. 100%. Bro, because, I, I come you know. From, yeah, I come from parents that split up too. Yeah. And I didn't know that was the reason why I did it yeah. until recently. But it, it, it 100% has, like, something to do with, like, your your dad leaving. Cause yeah. The same thing happened to me with my, where my dad left. Yeah. And in the early stages of our relationship with my wife, like, mm-hmm. that's that's all it was. Like, any little argument, I'd be like, yeah. all right, bro, I'm done. Yeah. Like, I'm out. Yeah. and it's it's not a healthy way to like yeah no it's not and yeah. it's because because you look up to these people you know? yeah, yeah but it's just like it, it's that's crazy that you did bring up because i was gonna touch that but yeah <coughs> oh are you okay bless you mm-hmm. but um so yeah it was kind of like that my dad was like in and out and then um for a while like my brother was going with my dad but not me mm-hmm. and um I was with my mom, like, 24-7, 24-7. Was your brother going and not you because you didn't want to or because of what, what was going on? I think I just wanted, I think I was so angry that I was just like, I want to be with my mom. I want to be with my mom. Okay. And um, I was like, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I ended up getting really close to my mom, and I just, like, always wanted to be with my mom. And seeing what my mom had went through, it sucked because my mom was the provider, Mm -hmm. You know, my dad, like I said, he was young. He, you know, he made mistakes. And my dad was a tattoo artist that had like tattooed celebrities before. So my dad was getting into that, you know, area where he was like, you know, in music videos and doing stuff and forgetting Mm -hmm. the fact that he has a wife at home and kids, you know. So he just, I think, went down a path where it was like he felt like that was a hold on him rather from like that. That's your family, you know? Right. So I think that, you know, it it mm-hmm. definitely definitely changed us. But, um, yeah. We're not perfect, guys, you know? Yeah. And this is good, bro, because I feel like people don't, like, because it's very easy to see, like, influencers online, you know? Yeah. And, like, see, them, see the best of them, see them happy, see them, like, you know, you guys have a lot of, like, success and, like, and, you know, like, a lot of things that you guys have earned. And it's really easy for people to be like, oh, like, that's yeah. daddy's money. Or, like, yeah. you get me, like, or, like, man, like, why? Or, like, I'm paying for everything she, for her. That's why right. she's with me. Like, mm-hmm. I see comments like that. It's or, not like that. Yeah, they don't fully understand you guys' personal story. And I feel like videos like these, like, really help you understand, like, man, like, yeah. people really go through things. Like, you don't know what somebody has been through until you get, take the time to, yeah. like, actually Talk hear them, to them out. Yeah. 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 And so, that's, yeah. basically, yeah, my... There was a time and point where my, basically my mom worked a nine to five. My mom mm-hmm. was at the hospital. My mom would, my mom would come home, cook, clean, do laundry, everything. And I was there. I was the one to help my mom out with my brother. Like I would watch my brother. I would cook for my brother. I would clean up after my brother. I was like the second mom, you know, I was forced to grow up at a very young age. Like I was given a list of chores to do before my mom came home, but I didn't really complain. Because I knew my mom needed the help because she didn't have it, you know? So I never really complained. And I knew, like, that one day it would, like, help her out, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, there was a point where my dad did try to come back. And I remember, like, vividly, like, I had woken up and my dad had came out of my mom's room. And I saw my dad and I'm just like, like, what the, like, and I'm like, what? And then he tried to, like, 
come out and like reprimand my brother like for having like the living room a mess and he's like okay well this isn't gonna be like this like he had said something and I was just like mom I was like no like I was like we're done like we're like and I had talked to my mom and I was like mom like like I like you better without my dad like my dad was like the person that was like you know like didn't allow us to do certain things and my mom was like we like I can't explain it but my mom had already like became a different person and then now my dad came back in the picture and she was going back to that person like Uh, hidden and like very like secluded that's how my mom was with my dad like my mom couldn't have an instagram my mom couldn't go out my mom couldn't wear this my mom couldn't do that and then after my mom left my dad my mom got an instagram my mom started going out and going with friends Mm. like my mom didn't have friends my mom wasn't allowed to have friends you know and um he bites really hard yeah really hard (laughs) And so, um, that's when I had like told my mom, like, you know, like, I just, I don't want you guys together. I like you better when you're not with my right. dad, you know? Well, it's crazy that you say that. Cause I can relate to that so much. Cause yeah. recently my, my wife had asked me, she was like, if, if you had a chance to like bring your parents back together, would you? And yeah. I told her, I had never he thought about it. He asked me something it. like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I had never thought you about had, it. Right? And, and I told her, I was like, man, honestly, no, like I yeah. never thought about it, but no, like I, I like them away. Like mm-hmm. I feel like they're better like separated. Mm-hmm. Are yeah. You, are your parents still separated or? Yeah. My parents are still separated. Yeah. Um, my mom ha- is with my stepdad. That happened a lot more down the line. Okay. My mom met my stepdad who is a cardiologist, a doctor. So she met a man Mm-hmm. And this man was now a provider for my mom. My mom wasn't the provider anymore, mm-hmm. you know. And I know that a lot of people will probably disagree that that's wrong. But my mom was working a nine to five, struggling, and I feel like my mom did deserve a, a like a a real man. Like mm-hmm. I'm not saying that my dad wasn't a real man. I just felt like my mom deserved something to give her the same energy back, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Like that's what I honestly really feel that my mom deserved. Like I love my mom with my whole heart. Like even Garrick knows that. How many times does she call me a day? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if, like if I were to take Brittany out and like bury her in the backyard, I'm not saying I would. But <laughs> if I like, let's say I was a psychopath. Bro, I would be caught. <laughs> like yeah. the minutes, next huh? hour, yeah. <laughs> no, literally. She'd be like, "Where's my daughter?" If uh, if you don't mind me asking, at what age um, did your stepdad come in the picture? Um, my stepdad started coming into the picture more often around the age of like thirteen, maybe thirteen, fourteen. Okay. Yeah. So, so 13, you were already 14. a little bit older. What was it like having like a new person just show up into the picture like that? That was bad i didn't talk to my stepdad for a whole year like Mm. because my mom and him were friends at first and then that's when i started seeing things become a little bit more like um how do you explain it like like they were became more touchy and more like feely Uh, and i was just like (laughs) it's so weird yeah yeah i went through the same thing yeah it was very weird so I was just like, I don't like it. And right. then because I was still a daddy's girl, I, I, I love my dad. I didn't even my like dad. my dad touching my mom. <laughs> like, yeah. Imagine a, like right. another imagine man. Like another, yeah. Out of the picture for so long that. too. Yeah. So it was oh. just like, I, yeah, I was very angry. Gunnar didn't really care. My brother, he didn't really care. Um, because my stepdad doesn't, didn't have kids of his own. So he would like spoil my brother, like with uh-huh. everything. And it, as long as like he was, my brother, he's younger, right? Yeah, yeah. So as long as my brother had a new video game, he didn't care, you know. Right. Versus me, I was just like, you can't buy me, like and you can't, you know. What was what was it like for you to see your brother accept them so quickly while you were like having trouble like accepting him? Um, I don't think Did I really. Did it bother you? I don't think so very much because he was so innocent, you know. That I mm-hmm. I don't think that like. You know, he thought anything of it. I think he was also very proud, like, like happy for my mom. You know, I think that he felt like, you know, because he was a mama's boy for a minute, too. So I feel like him seeing his mom like now happy, like it, I think it it made him happy, too. Um, But yeah, then my stepdad came into the picture and um, eventually that's when my mom like started to like be on the phone more and, you know, be with him more and still like. I feel like even though it was, like, me and my mom and my brother for a very long time, I still felt like uh, most of the time I was so independent. Like, I was always, like, on my own, on my own, on my own. And, yeah, that, I think, put me in the position, like, when I'm, like, in an argument with Garik, that I'm, like, okay, I'm ready to leave. Because right, you... all those years, I was so independent. So I think that that's why I do that as well. 
and it sucks because I like it does. I think I believe it hurts him, you know, because he's like, I don't even want to leave. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know why you're trying to leave me. I'm mm-hmm. like, we just got into an argument about cereal or some yeah, stupid I shit. I would have to go and like <laughs> apologize for like, you know, because yeah. like, I, I wouldn't want us to break up over something dumb. Mm-hmm. But yeah. No, yeah, and that's that's definitely a pattern that I that I see a lot in like people that like dealt with like their parents splitting up and like stuff like that is that you tend to like just be try to follow the same pattern your parents did where you just like you're just done like you're done like you're I feel like in a sense you're like scared to be the one left Mm -hmm. again so you you just want to like do it and be the first to like like leave so that you're not the one being left yeah yeah, like, that's, I can 100 percent relate yeah. to that. And I feel like, bro, everyone in this world has bad times in their life, and I think that's a test from God. Yeah. In oh, my yeah. heart. It definitely. But you see, there's this Bible verse that I love. It says that God uses all things together for the good of those that love Him. So basically, what it says is that like all the bad stuff that happens in your life, God has the power to use that for good. Yeah. So like your story, for example, bro, you feel me? Like now because of all you went through like you're able to like you you have this skill that people have to build where you like don't trust people fully where you you you, like keep a balance to where like you still let people in you feel me because like you you allowed me and my wife to like get close to you guys and like come come i can see the good in people for sure yeah Mm -hmm, right so that's a skill that like came out of like that bad stuff that went on in your life you get me yeah and like just like that it happens with like everything like god has the power to use all the bad things that happen in your life and turning them into something good. Yeah. But I wanted to ask you guys, if you guys had one sentence, just one sentence to go back and tell your, your little kid self, like, what would it be? Oh my God, be? I think about this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? Uh, you're going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Or I I'm think, like, look um, at all this bling, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something that I that I heard one time, and I always say this to everybody. God will never put you through something that you can't handle. So I think I would tell my my younger self that, like, the amount of times that I thought my world was over, I look back at him like, dude, you overcame that so fast. Like, mm-hmm. literally, God will never put you through something that he knows that you can't handle. And even uh-huh. in the moment that if you feel like you can't handle it, just know God is going to make a better man out of you or a better woman out of you. Right. He's just making you stronger. Like, he's you have to go through something in order to be strong, you know? Yeah. And so I think that that's one thing I would tell my younger self, like, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. I would probably grab him by his head and be like, listen, be okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll give him a hug. Oh, man. Yeah. That's dope, that's dope. All right, so now moving on to you guys' relationship, man. Like, at what yeah. age did you guys meet? How was that like? How was, like, the beginning of your relationship like? Okay, so this was high school. So okay. I went to Taft High School. You know, um, I'm living with my sister at the the house. I'm like, oh god, this is gonna my get house. juicy. Talk it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this gets juicy, guys. So, grab some popcorn. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to Taft. Um, you know, I'm playing football. Um, school is very hard on me. I don't like school. You know, but my sister keeps pushing me. Um, there was a point in ninth grade where I got a D, and I got the new iPhone 5s. And she took it away for the whole year. She oh, literally like took it away for me. year? Just for a D. For a D. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So that made me work harder to get my grades up, um, to get my phone back. But I still hate school. Mm-hmm. So I'm just, I'm going to school because of football. And plus the football team sucked. Uh, Taft High School is ass. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if they're doing good, but like they're like D7 probably by now. But mm-hmm. um, I'm playing football, you know, um, my friends, my friends are there. I'm happy. You know, there's when I go home, it's a little sad. You know, I want to go to school just to see my friends, play football, mm-hmm. get stuff off my mind. You know, I'm having t- calls with my mom, you know, because they could call and stuff. Okay. You know, visits, all that. But I didn't. Uh, w- when did you go to Taft? We went to Taft at the same time. Same time, right? But like, I didn't really like see Brittany at all. Like, we were never, never in each other's classes and stuff. So we were like, basically minding our own business and stuff we knew we knew of each other but like we didn't talk to each other like yeah like that you know mm-hmm. like she ignored me <laughs> i ignored her so um it wasn't even ignore it was just we we knew like of each other but we didn't like you know like we didn't give the time to talk to each other yeah. and get to know each other you know okay. yeah so um it's 10th grade 
uh, no, it's 11th grade year, midway, so second semester, me and my homie Sep, Big Sep, as you guys know, if you guys know Big Sep, mm -hmm. um, we're, we're like on a trash football team, bro, and all our friends are at Taft, but we're like, you know what, we can't handle this, we did not win any games, bro, mm -hmm. so bad, and we're good, we were good, yeah, we were the good players, sucked. and you then, you know, we were like, you know what, let's transfer, let's, let's try to go to Elko, but we went and looked at Elko, we're like, you know what, this is not it. We went to Reseda High School. Uh, the coaches liked us. We showed them, like, our clips and stuff. And then uh, we started going to practice at Reseda, even though we didn't go to the school yet. Mm -hmm. So we basically, like, transferred to Reseda. And um, I didn't know Brittany at all at the time. Like, we knew each other, but we knew of each other, but we didn't talk to each other. And I, um, this is this is my side, so she'll tell you her side. So I yeah, go to I go to Reseda and... Um, you know the football team is great over there. We have some great players. I don't. I don't think they're good anymore. But at, when I went, it was good. You know, I'm just going to Reseda. We had, we don't know nobody there. Me and Sep, we just know each other. So uh -huh. if he's absent, I'm sitting alone eating by myself. Mm, gotcha. If if I'm absent, yeah, because the rat. Because by now yeah. it's junior year. Like everybody already has their own friends. Like yeah. the circles are already made. Yeah, but by by then by senior year we we the football team is our friend. Like mm. bro, they worship the football team over there bro like yeah th there was this class bro <laughs> the, the teacher took everybody's phone but mine and seps because we're on the football team what? literally bro and we would make the most noise and everything but so yeah and at that time my dad came out before my mom mm -hmm. so um my dad wanted to sell the house and my uh, my brother-in-law wanted to sell the house so i had to go live with my uncle and share a bed with my brother mm -hmm. so in a small room literally the the bed only fits in the room mm -hmm. so i wake up in the morning 6 a.m go to receive a practice regent runs like i'm just i'm just trying to be a football I, I love sports and at the same time i'm doing um i was doing taekwondo boxing i got my mm. black belt so i'm doing that and i'm doing football so i'm just i'm a sportsman me and my brother got black belts my brother was he continued boxing but i had to stop boxing for football gotcha. so i chose football so I'm basically grinding my ass off for football. And football, let me tell you something about football. Let's see, let's see. They have favorites, and I don't like that, <laughs> you know? I was better than most kids, uh -huh. but they would play, they would play the, like, I, I was good. Like, I, have, I have good plays. Every time I was in, I would, I would make a play. So they had favorites, which I don't like. And I'm like, you know what, you know, this is after high school, I'm not going to play football no more because I don't like that. I don't like favoritism mm -hmm. and stuff like that because I'm white. I look. I didn't have tattoos. I was a white kid, and uh, gotcha. you know. But no, I, I took ankles, bro. I was I was a running back. That mm -hmm. was my position, you know. Um, my clips on my Instagram. You have to scroll all the way down, but um, you know, they looked at me as a white kid. Um, they they played the Mexicans and the black people more because gotcha. that's what they liked. But yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I didn't say nothing to the coaches. Nothing. I just I was quiet. I was a quiet kid, so. Um, Sep was amazing. He was on the line. He, he was pancaking everybody. Mm. But yeah. Um, and what is, what is uh, what is he? If you don't mind me asking, like he was on the defensive line. Uh -huh. No, but um, no, nationality. Yeah. Right? Oh, nationality. Sep, he is Persian. Persian. Yeah. Persian. Persian. Oh, Persian, he said yeah. person. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like, Samoan though, you know, Samoan like. Gotcha. But like he was really good. The coaches loved him. He, mm. he was, you know, but uh, you know favoritism all that they don't care yeah. about you even after you graduate they don't check up on you nothing right. so it's like it's all fake mm -hmm. uh, i don't like fake but after that i'm like you know what like i don't know what i'm gonna do with my life i started to get i started i got a job at mercedes but that's mm -hmm. when like i'm with britney so i'm gonna wait for that mm -hmm. so um yeah i was just playing football and then um you didn't really we, talk about how we met yeah, no, I'm going to talk about it. So wait, when does Brittany come in the picture? I, 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 I want to say one thing before you come in the picture. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We won, like, we went all the way to D1 championships and we won. So this is leading up somewhere juicy then. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then we went to state and we lost that state because we did some, you know, we were playing dice at 3 a.m. Oh. We, we had to drive for very far, mm -hmm. you know. We were, we didn't take it serious. So we lost state, but we won championship. And that's when my senior year was over. It was COVID time. This is when COVID hit. And you want to... You want to say your high school experience to, like, where we meet up? Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, then you go ahead. No, I don't like my high school experience. It was <laughs> wasted. Was it? Yeah. I, feel I like hated it was, school. I feel like it was wasted, you guys. Are you, like, not, not proud of it? 
Was um, it like bad Britney? Yeah, I would mm-hmm. say it it wasn't me. I think a lot of it did still have to do with trauma, you know, and it had to do with like a lot of like you know, just everything that I had went through. But I do have one thing to say is that kids, please do not like go into a relationship very early because you have such a long life to live that you know even though ne- the the next day isn't promised you guys like don't do it it literally like don't it that's it don't don't do it <laughs> so um basically like ninth ninth grade um should i talk about it talk about what like ninth grade like basically how we met like why we met I mean, no, because we, we didn't even, like, regard each other. Like, we didn't even, we weren't, like, you know? I know, but I'm saying, like, should I talk about it? Like, like. Mm, I don't know. Is it, nah. I don't know. It's weird. No, I don't know. He's like, it's weird. I don't know. We didn't really, like, see eye to eye with, until, like, after you, like, the Instagram thing. Yeah, so that's what, really. I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Should I talk about? Yeah. Okay. So I was just saying, like, okay, so basically, you guys, ninth grade, um, I was, you know, a kid, and I was in a relationship that, you know, wasn't well at all. Like, I was cheated on multiple times, hmm. and it wasn't good, like, at all. Um, I've been cheated on, too, when I was in relationships, past relationships. Yeah, you guys, oh, like, I was, I was cheated on multiple times, this person that I was with was actually a drug dealer and you know like it was he just wasn't like that though he wasn't like that no but it was still <laughs> like smack that kid <laughs> like, no bitch. but still like like yeah. you know like going from like my dad you know like seeing that stuff and then like then again seeing it it was just like what am i doing like why like but mm-hmm. i feel like it was like what you're used to you know like you know, it, it's like mm-hmm. comfortable what it is too yeah. i feel like it gets deeper but it's there's things called like generational curses yeah where essentially what happens is that like things that like your parents lived out will transfer to like you and uh-huh. your life and That's like crazy, it's your job to like break them yeah and so i feel like that was like like that generational curse of like your parents like splitting up having mm-hmm. that toxic relationship having that like cheating in between like a relationship yeah. or something that tried transferring to you to your life Right. Or at least it did, you know, since you went through it. Yeah. And so basically, um, uh, something had happened and I don't want to get too into detail about that, but something had happened and basically like first semester of 10th grade, um, my mom had gotten a call basically about me being in a relationship and they didn't know about it. My parents didn't know about me being in a relationship and, um, what year is this? This was, grade? yeah, this was b- first semester of 10th grade. Like, first semester. And it, it had just started, like, first semester. We were probably, like, second week of semester. Mm-hmm. And um, my mom had gotten a call, basically, like, saying, like, I was with somebody who wasn't good. And basically, somebody who does this and does that. And that they're not, like, a good person. And then, basically, what that had person happened... person is a horrible person, by the way. Yeah. Horrible person. And so... Demon. Basically, what had happened was he had given something to some girl. She went to the hospital for it. And that girl, her uncle, because of the gang affiliation, her uncle knew my dad. Mm. And um, they were going to, I think, jump him, you know. And But they saw me walking with him. Uh. And they were like, no, like, we can't. Like, that's so-and-so's daughter. Like, mm. So they went. And they tried to get in contact with my dad, and they couldn't. So then they went and told my uncle. So now the whole family knows. Gotcha. And, you know? And I'm just like, wow, like, this is, like, you know, crazy. And then basically my mom was like, he's not a good person. Like, you can't be going down this path. Like, this isn't for you. Like, I went through this already. Like, I can't have mm-hmm. my daughter go through this. Like, And my dad, you know, didn't want that for his daughter either, you know? My dad already knows, like, the whole dealio. My dad was like, I don't want this for you. Like, no. So they took me out of school and they put me into a home school in Encino yeah so they took me out from there at the same time I transferred right no I transferred 11th grade so you were there like a you dipped early Mm -hmm. I stayed like until 11th grade 
first semester and then I transferred to Reseda. Wait, so if you transferred, it, it got serious, serious then. Like, your parents really didn't want you, like... That near him, no. Not, like, at all. But then, he followed. Then he followed me. And eventually, like, it, like, you know, got, like, wiped out. Like, my mom was like, you know what, like, I can't, like... I can't do anything, you know, like, he's gonna go wherever you go, like, you know, and, um, yeah, that's, like, obsession, borderline yeah. obsession, and then, um, yeah, he kept cheating on me, kept cheating on, kept cheating, mm. kept cheating, kept cheating, kept cheating, and I was just, like, dude, like, I'm done, like, I'm so tired of this, like, I was, like, I'm, like, over it, you know, and then, um, like, I didn't go out, like, I didn't have friends, I didn't, like, do anything, you know, and mm. so, I wanted to, like, start going out because I had, like, officially ended that relationship and I was, like, over it. And then that's when, like, bad me came out, you know? Like, I, like, it was, like, okay, like, I was cheated on. Now I want to go and get revenge, you know? Mm. And that's, yeah, like... Yeah, Brittany was a very revengeful person when I first met her. Yeah, But I guys, changed that. Like, Let's go. Really, like, really bad, you guys. Like, really, really bad. Like, I would wish the worst upon people... And it would happen to them. And mm. I would feel so good when it would happen to them. Because I was like, oh, that's man. my revenge. And I was just like, dude, I can't be this person anymore. Like, it would come she back She has brujeria to blood in her, too. So, like, <laughs> like in her, <laughs> in, in her like, family. Yeah. Like, her Mexican side of the family. No, so, wait, like, for real, for real? Yeah. Oh, no, sure. I think it's all my mom's, too. Like, my great-grandma. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that. Because I would literally say something exact for them to, ha to happen to them, and it would happen. I'm like, pretty sure your mom later. probably learned from your Mexican side of the family, right? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Because your mom was with your dad. It was, I don't know. Wait, can you know. say for me to, like, have a car like this? Just, just say it. Just say it. Yeah, I don't... It, that I feel like a lot of it has to do with manifestation, too. But, mm -hmm. yes. You're, I don't know, but say it. Say it no, though. yes. Jacob's going to have everything and more, but it's not going to be yes, from the power the biggest of biggest blessings evil. In this world. It's not going to be from the power of evil. It's going to be from the power of God. God, dude. Power yeah, of God. It's going to be from the power of God, not from <laughs> evil. And I'm pushing it right now into the universe and to God. And he's going to answer my prayers and Jacob's prayers. And it's Let's all going to happen, you know? So, know um, yeah. So, then eventually... Um, I started hanging out with my friend Susan Moore. And then I think you started seeing that I was... She's the reason why we're together, by the way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so he started seeing that I was hanging out with Susan Moore. And... So... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't even get to this part. So he was actually blocked on my phone. Because... Oh, fuck. I forgot to mention this part. They were friends. Susan? We were. Yeah, they were friends. Susan and... Him? No, no, no. My ex and him. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, close? Like, at first, like, um, middle school, we were close. Terrible, dude. And then he, like, he was started being weird. weird. Like, he stopped he was, talking like, to me. After ninth grade, like, he thought he was cool. Like, boom, that's stopped when he talking got, to that's me. That's when he shit. got into, like, drugs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. stopped talking to me. He never was around. So I'm like, oh, he's not my friend no more. Mm -hmm. So, um. You guys eventually, like, I'm still just, on like, my split. football grind. I'm, I'm doing all that. I don't, I, like, she and him are not on my mind at all. Right, you guys so, are like a completely different, different life. Life, yeah. yeah like i don't like i don't i don't care what's going on you know mm -hmm. so i'm just doing me so it's like um it's the senior year when we first when we talked or mm -hmm. was it 11th grade yeah senior year so like it's already senior year like um i like i have not heard from him he's not my friend you know so we're not friends anymore we're not boys no more and i don't like fake people and i realize he's fake so i stopped talking like i just this is like i made that kid cry before bro like, mm -hmm. I accidentally dropped this game console one time, and, like, he yelled in my face. And, like, I just yelled. I just yelled at him. Like, karate, we learned this, like, move where, like, you yell, like, raise your voice. People will get scared. Mm. Sat down and started crying like a bitch. You bro, know? my oh karate my teacher in middle school would do that all the time, bro. And it was so intimidating, bro. Like, yeah, it raising really your voice. does work, bro. Yeah, like, right now, yeah, I'll, I'll like, I'll raise my voice and it's scary. But, um. Not to me. <laughs> I actually argue back. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I argue. I let her win on everything, bro. You know what? <laughs> yeah, sometimes you just have to. Bro. You have you to, to push You gotta let the females win. Let them, let, them, let them have the win. But yeah, they weren't on my mind and stuff. So, um, I was whenever, always in the back of his mind. So, I'm just kidding. I posted an Instagram photo of me holding my helmet. No, wait. This was okay. So we had basically I had split from him, and he was blocked on my phone because I I don't know. He had like a weird like 
thing like with blocking people on my phone like all mm. of his friends even even his homies were blocked on my phone like hi yeah, yeah like, you know what it is is that like you mentioned him being a cheater so it's just mm-hmm. that like some insecurity conscious mm-hmm. feeling of like man i'm doing it so who's to say she's not doing it or yeah. she won't do it too yeah. very insecure move right there yeah, it, 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 yeah it is insecurity but then you so what? he got blocked so he was blocked everybody was blocked like and so then i was like you know what like you know being like the revengeful person that i was i was like i'm gonna go unblock all the people that he blocked Mm. like i'm gonna go on unblock them and i'm gonna follow all of his you know homies Mm -hmm. and i was just trying to tap (laughs) you're dumb (laughs) yeah so you're dumb and so then eventually i had followed him and like he said he had posted something and then i would always like comment but i would never comment like you did comment hard eyes, right? No. What did you comment? I comment icy emojis. Oh, oh yeah. Snowflake emojis. Because that back then was like, 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 like a cold, subtle, like, like a subtle, like. Yeah, it was like, oh, like cool, like cold, right. you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. talking about? Oh, yeah. So it was like that, like, oh, like he's icy type shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then that's when, <laughs> that's when like he started seeing me hang out with Susan more and he would hang out with Susan, like all of them, right? Yeah. No, uh, I don't, I don't like any, I don't know, the the guy friends of her, I don't know. Nah. I don't like... No, no, no. But like, Susan, would, I, yeah, yeah. Susan was my own girl, yeah. Yeah, so, like, he started seeing I was hanging out with Susan more, so then we kind of were texting, like, a tiny bit. You would swipe up on my story all the time, actually, on Snapchat. Bro, there, so, was, there was fires. That boy was thirsty, huh? Yeah. Was, hey, man, football, all those fucking testosterone, bro, I was... Hungry, bro. Uh, like, the fires were happening, like, in Cali. I don't know if you heard about it. Yeah. Yeah, the fires the were, like, fires so bad. And, stuff. Mm-hmm. and so I had posted It was right before time. COVID that that happened, Yeah, right? and so I had posted on my... I had posted on, like, my story, like, oh, if anybody, like, um, is going through, like, a fire... And this was, like, meant to my homegirls. I was like, if any, like, if anybody is going through, like, a fire, like, please let me know. Like, I'll give you, like, a, like, a place to stay. And this dumbass commented, <laughs> what did you say? You're like, let me slide through. And I was like, are you going through fire? He's like, no. And then I left him on that. <laughs> I should have said yes, bro. <laughs> yeah. Was it? No. <laughs> yeah, he was like, no. And I was like, I just left him on red after that. But then. <laughs> <laughs> let me slide through. Me slide through. <laughs> but then. <laughs> But then, like, yes, bro, bro. Um, but then, um, eventually, like, I started hanging out with Susan more, and then he told Susan, like, let's all hang out. And then Susan had told me, oh, did I say that? Yeah, yeah, because Susan had came to me and told me, like, oh, Garik wants to hang out. Mm. And I was like, she was like, oh, yeah, Garik. I was trying to get to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he was like, yeah. he, like, she was like, oh, Garik said, the like, fire he didn't wants work. to. Mm-hmm. So, try another way huh yeah, yeah so she had told me that and i was like oh okay like cool i'm down like like what do you guys want to do and then she's like oh i don't know like we might like hang out you know like like drink a little bit and stuff like that and i was like oh okay cool not knowing that what this motherfucker had in the back of his head you have something back of your head too but look oh uh, with them icmo just going, <laughs> don't, don't I innocent yeah now? what the heck <laughs> so um my house that i wasn't living at i'm still at my uncle's right but i still have the key to my house no one's living in there oh okay. it's like abandoned so like, abandoned right. it's abandoned big mansion bro nothing in there no furniture nothing mm-hmm. wait my bed was in there some stuff were there but mostly everything was gone so i had the key to that i'm like you know what i have a spot let's go my some of my friends some of her friends you know we we went i opened the door it was nighttime so no one comes over so uh, that's live bro imagine in high school pulling up to your homie's mansion in an empty crib yes all sir. just like people your age chilling at this big house what oh, yeah. i would even go with my homies like i know like you know and wait it's about to get juicy you want to quick, quick intermission can you just like unrecord and then record again oh yeah because yeah. sometimes like the phone like stop corrupting. it happens but, to us too yeah all right so then um yeah we pulled up he was the you had a fake I had a fake yeah, ID. Yeah, he had a fake at the time. And mm. so he was the only one that had a fake. I was 19 years old at the time. Yeah, so he was the only one that had a fake at the, at the time. So he went and got the alcohol. Mm. And then we had, like, pulled up there. And then um, we were like, oh, like, what should we do? And then, like, um, I had saw, like, one of my friends, like, was playing this one game. And it was, like, um, uh, what are the odds? And I had told them, I was like, do you guys want to play, like, what are the odds? And they were like, no. Nah, like. I already <laughs> told my boys I'm going to smash watch. <laughs> nah, I already like before really, like bro, yeah, when on, we bro. went and got the outcome I'm like all right guys back off this is mine you know I have to let my friends know because you know we're boys what the fuck <laughs> so I let them know beforehand uh, so no one takes my dibs and I got the dibs it's my crib they could leave if they don't want the if fuck? they don't agree with me <laughs> so that's what I told them 
So So you claimed her basically uh, yeah. is what you're trying to say. Yes. You claimed her. Okay, okay. And so basically, um they were like, No, like let's not play with the ass and then we were like, Okay, let's play truth or dare. And then me and my friend Susan had like came up with this truth or dare game and it was spin the bottle, but it was mixed with truth or dare. And so mm. basically, is there a bottle in here that I can like explain it? I don't think so. No, Where's huh? this? You basically spin the bottle. I'll explain it with this. Uh-huh. Okay, so this will be like the side that you drink from and this will be the bottom. Okay. And so basically when you would spin it, if it landed like this on somebody, um, this person would ask the truth or dare to that person. Uh, Do you yeah. get it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how we had like made it and mm-hmm. it was complicated, like it was not that complicated. It was pretty easy. <laughs> Alright. And I texted my friend, I'm like, bro, dare me to do stuff with her like <laughs> i texted my friend if it lands on that me boy was and her plotting, huh? yeah you were plotting I'm, I'm secretly like texting i'm like dare me to kiss her or like dare me to make out or like have her sit on me or like you know <laughs> yeah so i'm like plotting no, and stuff bro. so that yeah. happened bro it landed on us and, then I, and my friend my he's friend like, i dare you go sit on him and make out so basically no. she came he's like on the bed but let me explain. He's like, oh, I dare you to go uh, make out with uh, Garik on the bed. He's like, oh, I dare you to go make out with Garik on the bed. I look over. Garik's already on the bed like this. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> right. the top of his button. Yeah, um, literally. His I'm button. like, what the fuck is he? He was literally already there like. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. And then so she you come. You didn't try to play it off. Yeah, nothing, no. Bro. Nothing, bro. I'm like, listen, you could leave if you don't want and do nothing. So. I'm what like, the fuck? <laughs> you would have still came after me. You were obsessed. All right, look. So she sits on top of me. We make out, you know, we're making out. And then I go like, I give a hand signal like this, like get out the room to everybody, mm-hmm. like to Susan, everybody. I'm like, out the room. But like while I'm making out, she doesn't know I'm doing this. Right. Everyone walks out the room, just me and her, you know. And, and then we do the deed. Yeah. And I don't strap up. Oh, so that was like you guys is like first time and like you guys didn't like know know each other you guys were just kind of like feeling each other yeah out. yeah That's destroyed crazy. her sh- cheeks Garik, and, like, shut up dude <laughs> <laughs> all right bro you, we can leave the details to the side yeah but, literally <laughs> but okay so you guys did i'm a football deed. player bro so yeah i got the hips i mean bro, the- do, you guys do the deed i'm assuming you know that like causes you know something between you guys you know chemistry yeah. like there's something there what, what happens after that? Like I'm. Assuming. I don't know too much about the chemistry thing. I drop all my sides. I'm tra- I'm taking her serious. No. Right, right. He he dropped all of them and was coming after me. He was falling in love. No, you were in love too. No, no, don't even. Do it. <laughs> don't even. You always do it. bring up the first time. Don't don't even. Do it. <laughs> you always Shut bring up, up the first time. Don't even. I do I, it. I made he sure. He said I love you. First I made too. sure to put in the works that first night so she'll never forget. Mm, yeah, to make sure yeah. was you, she was going to remember you. He, he, mm-hmm. kept, he kept freaking texting me like, let's do this again. Like, we, we have to meet up again and stuff. <laughs> like, he kept coming after me. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. <sighs> and then his birthday came around. His birthday came around. And I, like, had stopped for a minute, you know. like, And his birthday came around. And his dumbass posted on his story, like, I need some in the birthday cat emoji. Cat. And then he thought I was going to swipe up. And I didn't. And he was just like, <laughs> like, hella mad. Yeah. And then she fast forward, um, Valentine's Day comes. I made her a basket. I asked her out. You know, I said, be my, like, I made, I never, ever done no romantic stuff. Because mm-hmm. I've been cheated on, too. I'm like, F these girls. You know, I'm just going to run, run through as much as I can. I'm like, I'm going to break these girls' hearts. Mm-hmm. I don't care about them. They don't care about me. So, I start selling down. I'm like, you know what? I like this girl a lot. I'm going to ask her. I'm telling my friends, like, what do you think? I'm going to ask her out. Like, I'm going to make the baskets and stuff. And my friends are like, are you I, sure you want to do this? But I, but, I knew, but I knew he was, like, starting to become, like, like, I can't explain it. Like, I knew he was starting he to, was like, falling. Yeah, like, falling for mm. me because he wanted to be around me all the time. Like, right, all the right. time. Like, you know, like, I literally, like, I, like, got some money from, like, my birthday or, like, Christmas or something to go get my nails done. And he wanted to, like, take me. He's like, I'll take you. I'll do this. I'll do this. Yeah, I spent my last dollar. I had no money, guys. I had, like, 10 bucks, 20 bucks. My dad would give me five bucks. Like, I didn't have money. So I would save up my money and I would just go pay for her stuff. Like, I would, I would make, I spent money on basket to make for her. And every time we would, like, go out and stuff. And I'm still living at my uncle's house sharing a bed with my brother, you know, and this is the time where I got my car. It was a Honda. No, I had a Honda at first, Honda Civic. And then I got a CLA 250, a Mercedes. Mm-hmm. And then um, 
that's when I would go, like, we weren't together when I had that car. And then whenever I asked her out, um, we were together. We were girlfriend and boyfriend. And um, this is after, um, it's second semester of 12th grade. So my dad sold my CLA 250, which is my Mercedes. No, this COVID oh. already happened. It's COVID time. Yeah, COVID already happened. And I'm, I'm, I started doing TikToks on my own. She mm -hmm. wasn't doing TikTok. Well, she did one TikTok, <laughs> it blew up. And then it was and it then was I the like, Pornhub sound, right? Yeah, and then, and then I your did, mom looked over. No, it was Gunner that looked over. Yeah, or whatever. And yeah. then I did like two more TikToks. I so, did one with Lindsay, and then that one blew up, and then I did another one. So this is COVID time. This is where everyone's blowing up and stuff. So Doing she had and stuff. she had thirty k. I had one hundred eighty k. I was doing. What were like, you posting? I was doing cartoon characters in my school part one. And, like, I would just go up to people that looked like a cartoon character. <laughs> I didn't even know the kid. That's I would be like, you know, um, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what Harry you Potter. Or yeah, like, you know. Right. Or, uh, yeah, I did stuff like that. And um, I was doing dark humor. So, I didn't mm, really care. Like, yeah, I'm not yeah. famous. I, I, I didn't care what I was posting. You didn't so. care to get canceled or nothing. Like, yeah. that, that wasn't a thing because you weren't an influencer at the time. Yeah, so I was doing, like, I deleted all those videos because, yeah, they're dark humor and stuff. So. Right. I was just doing anything, but I was doing it for fun. My brother even, my brother at my uncle's crib was like, listen, um, I think you should do um, TikTok. He's like, he's like, um, he told me, he's like, he's like, you have this like personality, personality where for it. for it. And I'm like, you know what? I've been thinking about it. I'm going to start doing it. And I started doing it. I have 180K. And then um, that's where my dad sold my CLA, which is my Mercedes. I woke up one random morning, bro. My car's you not there. Me. You're like, my dad sold my And car. I thought she was going to leave me, bro. I'm like, damn, <laughs> she's going to leave me, bro. I don't have a car. No. And he got me a Kia. Uh, what was it, Kia what? Optima. Kia Optima. He, he, mm. And I was grateful, you know what? <laughs> nah, he, yeah, those are nice too, bro. I've, I've been in one before. Those are, those are really that nice. Was, I, Other kids would have got mad at their dad. You guys, and been like, well, why'd you sell talk, my car, you know? We talk about it all the time. Like, we'll see it pass by and we're like, damn, we should have kept it. Because that yeah, was like, that was, our, that was like, the car that blew started us up. everything. Yeah. Like, uh, We'll get to a, that. We'll, we did like everything in that car. So it's crazy. I got, um, I asked my dad, I'm like, why'd you do that? And then he didn't want to tell me he didn't have money to pay for it. You know, right. he mm -hmm. borrowed money from one of my family members to get me that car because he wanted to make me happy. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm like, why'd you sell it, dad? Like, what? Like, you know, I, I was a little upset at first. And then he told me, he's like, I'll buy you a better one later. Just wait. You know, mm -hmm. money's not good right now. And then I understood. I'm like, okay, I don't, you know, whatever. He got me a Kia. I'm like, okay, cool. It's a car. It gets me point A to point B. I pull up to Bernie. I'm like embarrassed kind of. But like, I don't really like, I, I don't know what she was going to react to. Right, so, yeah, I'm like, you know what? My dad told me he'll <laughs> buy me a better one later. And then, yeah, but I didn't even care. Remember, I got into the car. Yeah, she didn't, didn't care. Bernie didn't care. So I literally got into the car. and I was like, okay. I was like, are you home? That made me like her even more. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, you know what? I like this girl. Right, because she's not, you can sense that she's not like. And she lives in Santa home. Monica. So I think like. At that time, I'm like, yo, she lives in San, like, you know, no, I'm not going to say a uh, thing, but she lives on a very, like, because her stepdad has money, right? Uh -huh. He's a heart doctor and stuff. So I'm like, damn, mm. she's going to leave me because I drive this. But right. she didn't. She sticked with me. Damn. So I'm I'm curious, bro. Like people in you guys' school, like, were they like, did they come up with money? Like did people like, was it normal for people to drive Mercedes at like yeah. school and stuff? Not me, Rosita, no. Rosita, oh, like the I football players his. would be like, damn, he's driving a Benz, like. Everyone was like, no way, he has a he has a Mercedes, foreign, he's in a foreign, like, mm -hmm. you know? But, I, like, I, I thought, like, oh, yeah, like, it felt good for me because, like, no, like, I never got that, like, <clears throat> popularity. Like, like I, I was a popular kid, but, like, I wasn't, like, all eyes on me, you know? And I didn't really care about that. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, I'm like, oh, cool, you know? This is pretty cool. I dropped some of my football friends off sometimes and all that. But, yeah, so it's COVID time. I have the Kia... And I would sneak into her house. Like, I, I worked as a porter at Mercedes. Because my dad said, get a job. You, you don't have money, you know? Uh -huh. I didn't have money. Oh, did he fall? <laughs> he was like, hello, Paul. He was like... <laughs> so I had to get a job, you know? Because I needed some money to buy her stuff. You know, my gas money and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, I was a porter at Mercedes. And um, I hated it, bro. It was, it was you know, I... Felt like I was getting bossed around by old people. Like they were right. treating me like I'm a slave. Like, mm -hmm. like was this your first job? Yeah, my first job. Mm -hmm. My first job was that. So, um, at right after work, literally, I would be there for hours. Right after work, it would be like about to be dark. Drive to her house, Santa Monica, from uh, Van Nuys. I would drive all the way to Santa Monica, hop her fence, sneak into her back room. You know, 
uh, spend time with her, just chill there. Sometimes I would sleep there and then go go to work in the morning from her house. Oh, so you 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 would spend the night at hers? Yeah. But so, like sneakingly, like her parents didn't know. No, no, yeah. Her My her mom. mom caught on to it later on, oh, but she yeah. didn't care. Later, yo, you have balls for doing that, bro. I would be I so know. scared. My dad would be like, "Where are you?" I'm like, you know, at my girl's house. You know, I'll tell him. And um, I would be very frustrated because I'm sharing a room with my brother. Imagine two men like sleeping mm-hmm. in the same bed, and like I like my gaming setup was so small, like in the corner. Like I would play Warzone to like ease my mind, bro, because I'm not comfortable. Mm-hmm. I didn't feel comfortable. And when I was at her house, when I would sneak over, I was comfortable. I was next to a comfortable mm-hmm. person. I was, I like, you know, she would bring me food from, from like, I I even kitchen. cleared, like, half of a drawer for you, remember? For, like, yeah. socks and She the made door. me feel so comfortable. Oh, man. Yeah, so I'm like, you know what? I need, to, I need to think of something. I'm like, we were... We, we were scrolling on TikTok. I'm like, I would show her like because I have a hundred eighty k look. You because know? I, because I did mm-hmm. tell him I was like, I want to move out when I'm eighteen. I was like, because, like, at the end of the day, I I love my stepdad. I do, but there was things that like like arguments that would happen, and it was just like like this isn't my, you know, father. Right. Like you know, it's different. Well, like, you have to do I was, chores to get money. Yeah, like, like yeah, I don't think I mentioned. But that. that's discipline. Yeah, I don't think I mentioned that at all. Like, like I the same way that Garik would like you know, w- uh, work. Like, I had to, like, do things around the house in order to get money, like, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I would take down the trashes and get, like, 20 bucks for the, like, whole month. And gotcha. I was just, like, I was, like, okay, like, I have to, like, make this 20 bucks, like, work. Because if it doesn't... But, like, I would be, like, okay, I want to make $40 for two weeks. So, like, can I take, like, can I do this? Can I do that? You know, I started wanting right. to do more, to yeah. make more. And that, like, definitely, like, I it, it like made me be different like i can't explain it but no yeah because it teaches you a principle yeah like, you got to work for what you want mm-hmm. and yeah that's what, that's like what i didn't i didn't work that's discipline yeah like Which, i didn't work a job yeah. but i still had to do things in order to like get money you know like i didn't i didn't have money like at all like yes like i my, i moved in with my stepdad at a point of time and my stepdad is a cardiologist but at the end of the day like he would provide for like as much as he could because my dad couldn't do it you know like he would buy us like shoes clothes and backpacks and food and that's like that's what you have to eat for a child you know mm-hmm. like it wasn't that extra stuff that a lot of right. you know kids do get you know like yeah i didn't even get a, a, a you got to look at it his perspective too you're not his kid yeah. so yeah right. i always did I like always even him at doing it. that is like yeah a lot, a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah 100 percent so yeah. that's where, like, whenever I started making money, like, my paychecks, I would get it from Mercedes. I'd be like, no way. I'm making my own money. Yeah. So I, I I remember I bought my first jacket, my, like, first designer jacket. What was it? The V on the back? Oh, V-Loan. V-Loan. Yeah, it was with the pit bulls fighting. No, the, no, Rottweilers. the Rottweilers on the V-Loan. Like, I, I spent that, and then I spent my whole paycheck, bro. I was like, you know what? Like, I, I've never touched money like this. I've never, bro, I've never seen more than, like, three four hundred bucks yeah like that was me and i'm in high school bro like i would would never i would would never save up i would just use my money yeah because i I don't really look at money as like still even now i don't i don't money is not it's what you use it's the root of all evil it's what you use money on to make you happy it's not it's not happiness so um so i use my first paycheck and i would buy her stuff like every time Uh, like i would go back and forth to my job and And stuff we would go out you forgot yeah and i felt miserable like at my job i'm like bro i'm not gonna be working for these people like i need to change something like i'm not gonna be getting bossed around i want to be my own boss so yeah so one night we were at uh vernie's house snuck in we were scrolling on tiktok no you had said why don't we make my channel our channel and then my channel i was like oh my name was g curls right my name was g curls at the time I wasn't really taking it serious. I was doing it for fun, like, like no, no puns intended, you know. But um, I was like, let's make <laughs> our ch- my channel a couple's channel. Like, let's yeah. do videos together. She was really mm-hmm. iffy on it. She was like, I don't know and stuff. And then that's when Pound Fabio were together. So yeah. uh-huh. we scrolled and we saw a video of Pound Fabio and got like millions of likes. I don't the know blueprint. which one it was. Yeah. yeah, the blueprint. I'm like, let's do stuff like this. Like I showed her. I'm like, come on, yeah. babe. Like let's do stuff. She was like, I don't know. Like you know. I've never been put in front of a camera, you know? So I was just like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, she didn't really, she disregarded it. And I'm like, right. you know what, whatever. And then one night, we were arguing about, like, a spider. There was a spider in the room. And, like, we were just arguing. And I put my phone. But it was, like, just fake to record. arguing, you know? Uh-huh. It, it wasn't fake. 
It was. It was a real argument. No, but it wasn't like actual argument. It was like messing around. Oh yeah, no, we were yeah. like messing around, like laughing, like arguing, yeah. and I'm like, you know what? This is funny. I put my phone in the corner while we were still in the middle of the argument, but we were joking around, arguing, like. She yeah, was I was laughing. like, get the spider, get it. And I was like, where is it? Like stuff yeah. like that. And we, I put a recording, and then she like mid like convo, she smacked me, and I fell off the bed. And then I posted that, not knowing it's gonna blow up. Right, bro. We woke up in the morning with millions of millions of views. Mm, and so then the I'm first like, taste, first taste of what like social media can do, and like the power yeah. of like a viral video comes. Yeah. Okay, so just to like COVID time. summarize and like add like a bit of a timeline to this. We went through your childhood. We went through your high school experience. Mm-hmm. We're at a, we went through your relationship, the beginning of your relationship a little bit. Now we're getting into your into your career, how mm-hmm. you guys come up and everything. Yeah. Before we move on to that, uh, if there was one thing you guys could go back and tell both of yourselves as a relationship, what would it be? Like at that time? Yeah. So if you you can go back and see yourself with Brittany and stop stop them and be like, hey, like. Let me tell you this. Like, one sentence. What would it be? I would say, shit. Go back out, homegirl. Keep doing what just you're kidding. doing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I no. would tell myself, keep doing what you're doing. The outcome's insane. Like, yeah. I, I would just, I wouldn't give, spoil it too much. Because yeah. uh-huh. then my, myself would think too much about it. Right. I would just be like, just keep I doing like what you're doing. I that's perfect. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, keep doing what you're doing. It's like all the motivation Don't stop. you need. Yeah. I think I would tell myself... The arguments will pass, like, remain, like, remain solid. We did like, have arguments for a couple, like, you know? You know? Right. Like, I would say, like, I would probably tell myself, like, yeah. Again, like, we're not talking arguments. about a lot of details that, mm-hmm. like, were right, in, right. like, the arguments. And, like, mm-hmm. we almost broke up so many times mm-hmm. before yeah. even, like, making TikTok yeah. together. This, this leads to my next one. If you could, su- like, describe your early stages of your relationship using one word, what it, what would it be? You guys get a different word each. You can't copy the same. Tragic. Tragic. Just kidding. <laughs> early stages of our relationship? Yeah, the early stages. Um, I I had this feeling where I couldn't still trust her because I've been cheated on. So, like, mm-hmm. I was very, like, if she would go out and stuff, I would I would be like, why are you out? Why are, like, where are you? You know? And the other thing... I would trip out. So, like... The other thing that he would do was he would let his homies have an opinion on his relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, there was one time I, I, I went out with, like, friends, and he was with a homie. And then his homie was like, oh, like, you let your girl go out. You let your girl do that. You let your girl do that. And I think that, like, got his head, like, in right. his head. And he's like, you know what? Like, this is embarrassing me. Like, you're, yeah. like, he told me. Stuff he, like that, you know? He went, I was, trust issues. Yeah, he right. went and unfollowed me on That's everything. And we were in a relationship. Weird. He went and unfollowed me on everything. He blocked me on Snap. And I texted him. I'm like, uh, I'm like, what happened? We would have big fights here and yeah. there. Like, point where we're going to break up. Mm-hmm. Like, like, let me just say like that. So, I would tell my myself, just trust her. She's a, uh-huh. She's the one. No, but She's if you one. could describe the relationship in, in itself one word. with one, one, word, one word, what would it be? Toxic. <laughs> okay, really? Yeah, yeah. We were toxic, yeah. I mean, everybody. I mean, I if like, I'm yeah. being honest, we me and my it. wife is relationship early stages. I would use the same word. Toxic. Yeah, toxic. toxic. Yeah, yeah. We were toxic. Um, I would feel like it was eventful. Eventful. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, describe it now. I feel like now it's a roller coaster. Roller coaster. Because. Now? Amazing. Oh. Oh, it was oh my shit. Life. But it's a party <laughs> now in here. I'm oh, it still looks good. <laughs> no, no we can turn it. it. Do you think it died? I don't know. Let's check. Oh, oh there shit. you go. Damn, that shit was. Bright. I thought my car, like, no, shut me down. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it made a big difference. All right, we good? Yeah, it might turn off in a little walking. bit, but we'll, ju- we'll just keep going without the light. All right, bet. So I would say amazing. Okay, roller yeah. coaster. And I would, amazing. but I don't mean roller coaster in a bad way. I mean roller coaster that we have our ups and downs. You know, like we have our loops. We have times everything. Times of joy, but, times of fear. I feel like that's that's a perfect. Like question. my lip, yeah. my lip situation mm-hmm. when I got bit in the face. Right. I wanted to quit. Mm-hmm. I was like, I'm done with everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah. why does this happen? To, I I like and for a moment I almost questioned God uh-huh. for for that situation. Yeah. Because bro, whenever my lip was off my face, bro, dude. Mm-hmm. I thought like I was gonna be like oh, this. Like, this is gonna mess up everything. I yeah. thought I was gonna look like this. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna no, lie. Like he, he I was scared look... for you, bro. Like I, I, 
I can't remember exactly, but I think I actually even prayed for you, bro, because I, I remember seeing that, it at first, and I was like, uh, I was like, damn, like, that could change everything, because it really can, bro. Like Right you know, after I proposed, too. Yeah, you know the amount of, like, insecurities that can come with that, and, like, oh, yeah. what it can do to you as a person. Yeah, I was covering man. my face. Uh-huh. My friends came to, like, after I got out the hospital, they came, brought me a cake and stuff, and I was just like this, and they're like, why are you covering video. your face? It's crazy. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, you know, I was, like, looking away and stuff, like, I was, like, ashamed. Yeah. But um, they made me feel better and stuff. But, but bro, uh, let me. You should read the story of uh, Job, bro, on uh, on on the Bible, because basically what it is is like this guy that has it all, bro. This dude has it, everything he everything he he can desire. Like he has it. Like he's like the richest person alive at the moment. Like he's like a billionaire in our time. And one day, like the devil comes and has a conversation with God and tells him like it tells him like the only reason why he loves you is because you've given him everything he desires and then God is like that's not true he loves me because he knows who I am and then uh the devil tells him okay then give me give me the power like give me the power to be able to take everything from him and let's see if he still loves you and then so God tells him okay you have you have my permission to do all that mm-hmm. if you want you can leave it like that you have my permission to- hey there we go yeah. yeah, it's just going to keep turning off. Is it because it's dying? Yeah. Oh. We could just turn it off after. Uh, and then God tells him, like, okay, you have my permission to let him... Uh, you have my permission to take everything from him, but don't kill him. Like, his life is the only thing you can't take. So the devil comes, bro, and, like, he, he literally takes all his cattle. Like, all his cattle, like, die. They become deceased. Yeah, like, um, his family dies. Like, his wife dies. His kids die. Oh, wow. Like, this man lost everything, 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 bro. And uh, through this, through everything, like, this guy, like, still, like, cr- he's crying, like, suffering. And he tells God, he's like, God, like, you were the one that gave me everything I had. You have the power to give it away. Like, I don't know why you did it. But you were the one that gave it to me in the first place. It's okay if you take it from me. Yeah. And it's just this thing of like, uh, it it made it put me in this position of like, man, like if I were to lose everything, like how would I react? Like my would my love for God change? Like is yeah. my love Yo. for God is my love for God like rooted on just the stuff that He gives me and like the moment right. that He doesn't like I'll just turn away from Him or or what? And at the moment I was like, damn, like it is like if I were to lose everything right now, I'll probably turn against God. And so it just, it made me, like, want to, like, fix that and want to, like, be like, you know what, God, like, no matter what happens, like, you have given me enough. Like, I love you. If you want to take it away, like, you gave it to me in the first place. I don't care. I feel like, yeah, when I got bit in the face, <laughs> I feel like, like it was, like, don't get too comfortable, like, you know? Anything can happen. Right Things after I proposed. in a second. Proposed next day, got bit. The next day is my birthday. So mm-hmm. my 22nd birthday, I didn't really have a birthday. Right. So, but that did teach oh, what the fuck? Yeah, but, you know, uh-huh. that did, like, give me a lesson, like, and that was, like, my dog that, like, that was my first dog, my, like, he was my son, basically, mm. so him backstabbing me and doing that right. to me is, like, wow, I really can't trust nobody, like, It definitely you know? is an eye-opener, bro, yeah, it, because it shows you anything can change in the, yeah. I wanted to give up, and I was in the, in the shower crying, I was bleeding on the ground, blood everywhere in the shower and bernie's all, like right behind me on my back rubbing my back she's like everything's gonna be okay i'm like i'm done i'm gonna give up i don't, I don't want to do none of this no more like like i don't want to show my face to social media no more i'm done like mm-hmm. i'm i'm yelling i'm screaming i'm crying a I'm lot like, of I'm it done has with this. a lot of she's it has to do back. with the fact that like all of the youtube stuff guard candles and mm-hmm. so there's times like oh before this our engagement video kept getting yellow flagged so mm. we kept re-uploading it. I was frustrated. Like, I was, he, mm. he was literally like sitting there, like yelling, like he was like, "Why is like, like, like why isn't this like not going through?" He's happening? like, "He's like, like this usually goes through." He's like, "Nothing's wrong with the video." Like, why is it? It's doing an this? engagement video. It should not yeah. be yellow right. flagged, you know. Yeah, so like, he was getting I got frustrated. Bills to pay, you know, yeah, mm. I'm frustrated. Yeah. So he was just like, he was upset. I almost questioned God on that too, but I held myself. I'm like, you know what? Like, what am I doing here? Like, right. there's no way I'm gonna be questioning God about this, you know. Yeah. So and I even uploaded it on a yellow flag. I'm like, you know what? I need my people to see my yeah. engagement video. Mm. So I didn't really care about the money. I'm like, you know what? F the money. I don't need the money. Boom. I posted the video. After I posted the video, a couple hours later, it got green flagged. Let's go. Big relief off my chest. I, I missed out on some money, but at least, you know, mm-hmm. my viewers saw my engagement. Right. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then from there, it was like happy moment. Like it went from like, like, 
upsetting and then it went to like happy and then it went back to roller like, coaster yeah you know? it literally it literally went back to like oh oh shit like you know like and i think a lot of like people on social media don't understand i want to say this that when i had posted the video everybody was like oh my god she's so dramatic like she was crying more than he was i'm gonna say two things on why i was so emotional well people were saying that yeah they were like normal though like yeah i i don't it was dramatic yeah they were like they're like this is so dramatic like it's better than like not posting at all and you guys are you know people are confused why we're not posting not only not only that but it was just like everybody's like oh it was a baby cut like this and that it was like dude it was not a baby cut cut. like it was literally a chunk of my whole lip. lip god forbid he grabbed my cheek yeah bro god forbid he grabbed my eye bro yeah yeah you know, yeah. it was like it was. Or a piece of It was your a nose, piece of my like, my, my my nose. He could have took off my nose. Yeah. I would have been like, I would have been. Oh my God! I'm so. I pray every day. Like, I pray to God that like that didn't happen to me. Right. Like, no, yeah. If it got fixed, God but, fixed you it. You can't even see it now, bro. Mm-hmm. You can You literally can't notice. I held on yeah. to my faith, and look, mm-hmm. my lip is there. You know, it's a yeah. little. You could still notice it, but yeah. But Never lose your faith in God. Yeah, but basically. I want to say, like, three things. I saw a lot of people, like, were saying, like, there was a lot of people that were like, oh, my God, like, my husband got shot. Or they were like, oh, my God, like, I got shot in the back and I didn't even cry this much. And I didn't cry because it hurt. But you did you did cry. I cried because, like. You cried because it was. I saw my. No, it didn't hurt. I saw that, like, I didn't have a lip. Plus, my 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 dog. dog that like i've been taking care of for like two and years the, and there was just like so like, many my things, son yeah there was so stabbed many, me in my back there were so many things going on in our head like it was like now do i have to give him away do i have to yeah. put him down what do i have to do like so like what your do i have head, to do with like spiraling. our job like what do we tell them like like bro i was in shock like she like i was in a wheelchair like they were taking me to the hospital and like i was just blank yeah it was i just was like, blank like i didn't i didn't say hi to nobody i didn't like bro i wasn't even crying anymore i was just blank like, I was just so much stuff. Like, you know that Spongebob episode where, like, he's running around with papers in the brain and it's on fire? Mm-hmm. That's what I felt like. Bro. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, a whole wave of emotions just hit you all at once. Your brain is trying to comprehend everything, plus trying to figure out what's going to happen in the future. I can only imagine. My bro. birthday, I just proposed. Right. Bro, yeah. it was crazy. But I saw a lot of comments that were like, oh, like, I got shot and I didn't even cry this much. And, like, I tried to, like, say, like, I, we don't put ourselves in predicaments to, like, be getting shot. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Like, you know, like, some people put themselves in positions. I wouldn't cry if I got shot. If my brother, or like, my blood brother shot me, I would cry. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it was, it was. The betrayal on what <coughs> what happened to me, that's why I cried. I yeah. don't cry. I'm a man. And I hold my tears back. Every man, you hold your tears back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like. Well, actually, bro, like, man. So me, for example, bro, like the last time that I had cried before my wedding was the day that my dad left, bro. And that left, I don't know what, I don't know like what happened with me, but I I guess like my body just like subconsciously like built a wall to where I wasn't even able to cry, bro. So like for the longest, bro, it had been like years and years that I, I just, I wanted to cry and I just couldn't, bro. Cause I had lost my soccer coach in high school and seeing all my homies, bro, like, crying you know and like really like being upset that our soccer coach that we loved had just passed and not being able to like join them and cry too like it hurt me bro i was like damn like i feel like i'm a monster bro yeah i feel like why can't i cry and i would always question god i would be like god like why why can't i cry like i want to cry and i just couldn't i lost my uncle I I, i lost my grandfather nothing bro and I, especially when my grandfather died i felt so bad bro because i was like yeah. bro that's my grandfather like how am i not crying and so every day up until my wedding day i was just asking god like god like please allow me to cry i want to cry i want to feel those emotions like there's nothing wrong with crying like you know yeah. it's like a human, there's nothing wrong with crying it's yeah a human yeah. emotion you know it's like is god it's allowed us portray, to cry yeah. for a reason you know mm-hmm. so i wanted to let it out and thankfully god answered my prayer bro and that day at the wedding like i was able to finally cry and it felt so dude good, i cried bro. at the wedding bro, i got butterflies at your wedding <laughs> yeah. your wedding was beautiful I, w- I was literally i literally cried the whole time like i was like dude why can't i stop crying i was like it felt so good for me you to could, cry too, and i this. and me and garlic talked about this like you could literally feel the presence of, of god. god god was in, there i I, God was there, bro. Guys, I kid you not. Like you could 
feel it in the room and that's what made you, just you had to be there yeah like that's yeah. what made you so emotional too like like yeah, i just 100%. knew his presence was there and i was like yeah. oh my goodness like no yeah god showed up for sure boy and yeah. I, as i was crying i felt like i was just healing bro through like everything that like my parents had like put me through with their split up you know and everything like i felt like i was just healing and let it go letting go of all of that but that's that's besides the point but uh so we covered a lot of you guys' um life man we covered yeah. your childhood we covered you know like your your high school experience you guys got to touch a lot of, i feel like i know you guys so much more now like I, yeah. a lot of the things that you mentioned like i i didn't know and i'm sure that a lot of the viewers didn't yeah. know we got to touch a little bit on like you guys' come up and like your social media career uh uh, I want to say that I'm super proud of you guys, man. Thank you guys you have so been much. killing it. I'm proud Thank of you, you guys. Thank you, bro. Like, for where you are now, you get me? Like, yeah. I know that it's easy for you guys to be your biggest critics, but I think yeah. it's important and, like, really, like, take time to just be like, man, like, wow, look at what we have accomplished. Like, look at everything we have done because I feel like as humans, we always tend to, like, okay, like, what's next? What's next? Yeah. Like, we got to do this now. We got to do that mm -hmm. now. So much that we lose track of, like, everything we've already done, so... I suggest like taking taking the date to just be like man like let's take a look back at like everything we've done and like watch your old videos or like yeah. I love watching back. my old videos yeah. right right it just brings back so many things I love right? that yeah I wanted to I wanted to ask like to finish things off what is one thing negative and positive that came out of like all the success you guys have like received these past years through social media oh I know this one. I would say early stages, the comments got to Brittany and she wanted to completely stop doing mm -hmm. social media. But you should tell them about how skinny I got because yeah, of it. she she was depressed, like because she would smack me in the early days. That's what was comedy back then, right? But people were like, "That's toxic. Why is she smacking them? Stuff like that." Mm -hmm. So I I talked to her I'm like, "Look," and we weren't making money off those videos at all. No no cent. We were doing it for fun, for views, like. We weren't making money at all, not even a penny back You're then. You're talking about TikTok or TikTok. YouTube? TikTok, yeah, we, TikTok. We did YouTube later on. Mm -hmm. Pow, Pow was the one. I asked her questions about YouTube on gotcha. like how to do it and stuff. She told me all the details. Yeah. So, shout, shout out, out to you, to Pow. Pow has helped us a lot with the YouTube. Like, Bro, and Pow is a genius when yeah, it comes to social she's media. She's so... Like, Pow's like my her, sister. I look up to her. Yeah. Right? She's, yeah. she's really wise. On, on yeah. Very wise. Yeah, she's helped me a lot. Like, even, like, with, like... When you're an influencer, now you're now you're um self-employed. So you like just there's a lot that comes to it, like with taxes and everything. And Pow has helped me a lot with it, like because she's been in it longer than I have. So I reached out to her and I was like, hey, like I have like so many questions, this and that. And she helped me so much, dude. And I, I like mm -hmm. I'm forever grateful for Pow. And like yeah. she's I guys, can't sorry, to sorry, we're talking a lot. I know. But <laughs> I would never open up to anybody else's channel. Not like if yeah, if we, we were would. to like go on the biggest podcast in the world, bro. I would not have talked about this at yeah. all. Yeah, I appreciate that. None of that. Not. Yeah, thank you guys. I love you. I love guys, you, bro. Man. Yeah, we love For you sure, too. Sure. But um, like I was saying, yeah, she didn't want. I was her backbone. I'm like, listen, we could change our content. You don't mm -hmm. have to smack me no more. We argued about it at first. Like I'm like, why don't you want to do it? We're getting right. views and stuff. But then I, I thought to myself, I'm like, yo, she is really getting hate. Mm -hmm. Let me change up the. The concept, the concept of our videos oh so, wait i want to say one thing now one. britney's um, i, I want to say one thing really quick what? um i came up with gmb oh, like <laughs> do you hear the, the crickets in the back <laughs> <laughs> the crickets are dead oh, no, wait, what do you mean and then i click yeah the name, no, right? I, yeah i dead ass uh, came up because he was like which he he came to me he's like what should we call each other and i was like what about gmb and then i was like mm -hmm. and we'll call it official and GMB then it was official. GMB official, and then the rest is history. I feel like you guys <laughs> made it into what it is now, though. I feel yeah. like you guys could have chose any name, and it would be, like, big. You feel yeah. me? Like, it really isn't on the name. It's like you guys turned GMB into nothing. I mean, you, you turned it from something into from nothing into something. Yeah. yeah. Like, now GNB is, like, like, something because of, like, the effort you guys put in. So one negative thing you said was uh, the, the negative comments. comments. The negative comments. What would, what would be the positive things for you? We'll, we'll get to you in a little bit, Brittany. The positive things? I mean, this. Like, my car. I have mm -hmm. I have the car I love. My Hellcat Red Eye. That, sh that car was on my computer screen for three years before I got it. That's insane. Literally, literally, the, the same color, black and That's white. That's crazy, bro. Dude, I I literally went. I'm gonna say it quick. I went. We were in my Kia. I went to Dodge to look at the car. The salesman referred me to the cheapest car. He like walked me, 
And I'm like, no, I want to look at this one. He's like, no. He's like, he was being a douchebag to me. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to get this car one day. Boom. It's right here. Literally down the street. My, Yo, my car. So that's, that's the positive for no, me. I feel like having it on your like wallpaper oh, and then bro. actually getting it is an insane story. Yeah, bro. Like at my uncle's oh. crib, it was on my computer screensaver when I play Warzone. Uh -huh. It was my computer screensaver, bro. That's crazy. Hey, congrats, bro. Congrats. Yeah, manifestation. Always have faith in God. Go. Never lose your faith, no matter what. Let's go. So you said one negative thing is the negative comments. One positive thing is the fruit, everything that came through your hard work and everything. What about you, Brittany? What is one negative thing that came out of this whole success and one positive thing? <clears throat> I think the the negative thing. Ow! Did you see that? He yeah, bit the right. shit out of me. <laughs> Come hearing you. Yeah, he know. did. Um, I think the negative thing that came out of it was the the free handouts people started to expect. Mm. you know mm, yeah yeah um is the free handouts people started to expect and um yeah like them not seeing actually like i'm not sitting here saying like my job is as hard as you know what are people expect it to be very easy bro yeah like what i'm not, but i'm not right. sitting here saying like it like i'm comparing it to like construction like my dad is a construction worker and mm -hmm. my dad is on roofs all day in the hot sun like i see what my dad does and i'm like oh my gosh like you know it makes me super thankful you know that god has put me in a position to be an influencer because i will never compare myself to be like right. that mm -hmm. you know but um i think that a lot of people don't understand that there is still hard shit that comes behind it 100%, you know yeah and don't be There's, ashamed to like yeah. talk about it because i know people will be like bro you're just an influencer yeah. this, this and that i can personally like speak out of experience yeah. bro because i used to work labor i worked labor till i was 21 22 uh -huh. and i personally can say that doing social media is harder because it's harder mentally like yeah like mentally, being out yeah. in the sun and everything was hard for me physically but mentally oh. it's a breeze because you show up you do you, mm -hmm. you do what you gotta do you go home with this, bro, with social media, you're always yeah. clocked in. Mm -hmm. You got to learn how to, like, not let people's opinions and comments right. not get to you. You got to mm -hmm. learn how to not get yourself out of depression, get mm -hmm. yourself out of suffering from anxiety. Like, you're always clocked in, so your mind is always working. Yeah. You know, people's mm -hmm. feedback literally, like, represents what you're making, if you're making money or not. If the views are dropping. It's not stable yeah. at all. So mm -hmm. there's way too many things that I come with it that yeah. people don't understand. So I just want to tell you, like, be okay with like saying yeah. that it's hard even if people don't understand that like because it is it is hard it's mentally. Yeah, yeah it's it's draining yeah you gotta be and consistent if you, you're not consistent yeah. you're always in the back of the mind oh am i gonna fall out like yeah. stuff like that yeah. it's not easy if it was easy a lot of a lot of people would, would do it you know? yeah that's, that's really, it takes a lot of creativity too like yeah. you gotta be constantly like innovating yeah you gotta something... have a personality towards mm -hmm. it you know uh -huh. yeah it's you don't just wake up one day and you're like really good at filming like it took us a, a minute to like get you got to transition to to new things like yeah. you yeah. can't you know Innovation. yeah and um so i think that that comes behind it is like the, the people's like aud like i don't want to say audacity but people's like mentality to like you know think that i just like woke up one day an influencer you know like I've gotten like people that like have texted me from high school that I've not even talked to in years who Same don't here. who don't even like ask me how I'm doing like and I'm not expecting them to you know I'm not expecting anybody to call like call me or check up on me like I don't expect that but you know like even to start a sentence off with oh my god like hi how are you doing but no like I've been? got yeah how have you been like they start out the sentence with like hey like can you do a big favor for me mm. and it's just like dude like like I like I I can't then, like, like you don't even like we we don't even talk to each other like we're right. we're not family to each other and we're not friends like at this point like I don't want to sound like messed up but like I forgot we even followed each other mm -hmm. you know and then you come to me like asking like I've had multiple people that like have come to me and they're like hey can you post my brand and I'm just like you know I'm like talk to it's my not, manager yeah, yeah feel... I'm like that's not that easy you yeah. know like I'm like I have managers like behind it and like there's a lot of things that also come behind it like if you post something for free and you know like it gets to somebody now other brands are gonna think that they can come to you for free and right. it, it just like it messes you up so it just yeah i think that that's definitely one negative thing is the the free handouts people are um expecting what is it it's not audacity like free handouts that people are like obligated 
not obligation. Oh, like, I feel, forgot. They feel like you're entitled. Oh, yeah, you like entitlement. Like people's entitlement to like the free handouts. So is what's crazy. the good? What's the good? The good is the fact that knowing that God has like held my hand the whole step of the way, mm-hmm. and knowing that like there there's so much greater at the end of it. And, I, and yeah, like th- we have like the money and we have the cars and but I feel like. I feel like all of that I could put to the side and I feel like my relationship with Garik has grown to like a better bond. Let's go. You know? So it's just like, and yeah. God like has like helped. One good thing is like yeah. we, we had each other's back the whole step of the way. Yeah. And I think the, the thing that we tell each Loyalty. other. Loyalty. Yeah. The thing that we tell each other all the time is literally it's just me and him at the end of the day. The same way that it's just you no and Val at the end of the day. Yep. It's literally just you. It's you and Val at the end of the day, bro. At the end of the mm-hmm. day. Just that's remember that. how it is. Like. Thank God. It, even even when you have children in the Bible, it says like your husband is supposed to come first and then your children because because your husband is like the reason why you build that family. Your right. child will go one day and build their own family. Mm-hmm. Your child will leave you one day to start their own family, but your husband will always be there. Your wife will always be there. You guys are each other. You guys are now one. You guys make your love into one, you know? So, yeah, I think that that's my best outcome was my bond loyalty and god mm-hmm. even though that's three things i don't care <laughs> <laughs> it's all good it's yeah. all good no but well thank you guys man once again for like letting me you know yeah of course, course. Yeah. bring you guys Anytime. along for a car talk man it was amazing to have you guys congrats on all the success congrats on thank your you relationship so congrats thank on you. the engagement the new Same dog you, the list goes on the list goes on god's hand is really over you guys and i'm so happy for it um I'm going to pray for you guys off camera, man. If you guys Thank allow you so me to. Much. I love yeah, you guys. Thank you for everything. Love you, bro. Guys, you the so links to, to their channels are going to be down below. Oh, thanks. Their YouTube, their TikTok, everything. If you guys want to see anybody else on these card talks, let us know down in the comments. Let us know what your favorite topic was that GNB talked about today. And with that being said, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Love you Let us know so if you want much. us to start a podcast, by the way. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Before y'all leave, by the way, I, there was a lot of things that Brittany and Garrick didn't oh. speak on, which is great because they are planning on starting their podcast. So comment yeah. down below. Go blow their, their DMs up, their, their messages, and let them know that they need to actually, like, do it. Because I know you guys have the idea, but one thing is to have it, and another thing is to execute yeah. it. Yeah. So. Nice. A lot of a lot of things that you guys didn't say, you guys I'm sure will say it in your podcast. So keep an eye out for that. But I think that's it. Love you, bro. Yeah. We had so much fun. Thank you so much once again. We had a great time. God bless everybody. And somebody pray for this wiener dog too. <laughs> he's getting cranky. He's getting mean right now. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you guys. Catch you on the next one.